everyone. We're going to get things started with the players portion. We're here with Christian Harris. If you guys have any questions, please use the raise hand function and we'll get started. First question over to John Zener. Uh, hi, Christian. Uh, we all kind of have seen what Najee Harris can do the last few years, but how 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 impressed were you with with what you've seen in practice from him, and and then whatever you saw of, of, from the sidelines of his performance Saturday night? Uh, you know, I mean, Najee Harris is, in my eyes, the best running back in college football, most definitely. Uh, especially saying that you know we got to go against him every single day in practice, starting in the summer when we do, you know, seven on sevens and stuff like that. So. Uh, you know, when we get to the games, a lot like with the other guys, you know, because we, we all work so hard in practice. I mean, you see what they do in the game. It doesn't necessarily surprise you. It's more of just like, wow, like this dude is different. Like, But we've seen how the stuff he does before every day in practice. So I guess we don't have the same reaction as everybody else may have. But yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty crazy, honestly. Like watching it every day, it's, it's amazing. Ryan Hennessy, go ahead. Christian, this home game, I'm sure, was marked on the calendar for a while. But with less fans, how important are those fans tonight or Saturday night for you guys to come home with the win? Uh, I think, you know, always having fans at a game is, you know, pretty important, uh, especially, you know, when we're on defense, you know, get a little bit of crowd noise in there, affect the offense a little bit. But, you know, at the same time, uh, like I've said before, it's an opportunity for us to, you know, go out there and compete and show the world what we can do. You know, regardless if there's a lot of fans or not a lot of fans, if they're making an impact or not, you know, we have to execute whatever the game plan is that coach gives us. And uh, I think if we do that, we'll be all right. Michael Casagrande, over to you. What was the, the feeling in the meetings yesterday, uh, looking at film? Uh, when you see the yardage they, they put up, the, the points they scored, what was, what was the general feeling that defensive firm? Well, uh, we're actually doing that today, so. But I mean, I watched it personally, like by myself yesterday, and I mean, uh, I feel like you know, we we, we of course we got to get better, um, you know, mainly working on tackling. But you know, we're onto a new week now, so you know, we'll just fix all the, those things that we messed up last game, prepare this week, and fix it on Saturday. James Ogletree, go ahead. Yeah, Christian, we know a lot about your relationship with Dylan and how long you've known him, but I was curious about how, how well you know Chris Allen, how long you've known him, and what your relationship is like with him. Well, I mean, I'm not, I haven't known Chris as well as I've known Dylan, but uh, Dylan and Chris are like a lot closer than I am with Chris, but I mean, uh, you know, we still play in the same little league, uh, and I got the chance to play against Chris in high school, uh, my ninth grade year, and it was, it was pretty crazy, but uh, you know, our, our relationship really grew stronger once I got on campus because, you know, all the Baton Rouge people kind of, you know, get together. It's kind of crazy seeing a lot of Louisiana people up here. So, but we have a great relationship. Stephen Smith, you're up. Christian, in, in face of an offense that y'all played against last week, like what's the biggest challenge defensively of keeping that eye discipline and staying focused on your job? Like what's the biggest challenge there? I mean, honestly, I feel like you know, as long as we focus on executing the plan and making tackles, I mean, I think we'll be fine. Uh, that's just one thing we, you know, kind of mess, messed up on last week. Uh, but, you know, of course, we're going to improve on that and work on that this week even more. So we'll have it all good by Saturday. Over to Jeff Spiegel. Yeah, Christian, kind of backing on what Michael was asking a while ago, the feeling after the game, were, were you mad? Were you embarrassed? Uh, and, and how much of an edge do you think this team will play with Saturday against Georgia because of what happened in Oxford? Uh, you know, as a defense, of course, you never want to see an offense, you know, put up those type of numbers, especially when we, you know, prepare all throughout the week. But, uh, you know, like I said, I mean, we miss tackles, of course, that bothers us. You know, it's, they ran on us like crazy. I mean, that's something we really harp on, stopping the run. So, of course, you know, we're going to go in with an edge. But like I said, we're going to go in and fix all that this week and prepare for Saturday. Mike Rodak, over to you. Christian, there was some talk after this last game about how it seemed like Ole Miss was always one step ahead and kind of knew what you were calling on defense. When you go into a game, another game in this case, against someone who knows your team really well, how much extra 
attention do you have to give to disguising what you're doing communication wise? I mean, you know, I feel like that's more of a of a coach question. Um, but at the same time, you know, like I said, whatever the game plan is, coach gives us, we just got to make sure we go out there and execute it 100. percent You know, full effort, everybody running to the ball. And I mean, I think, like I said, if we do that, we'll be fine. Unless there are any other questions, we'll finish up with Brett Hudson. Yeah, Christian, what does this defense need to better respond to tempo? Like, like when Ole Miss situationally went to super up tempo situations, what does this defense need to better react to that? Uh, I think one thing that really hurt us this past game was, you know, the fact that, of course, like I keep saying, I mean, missing tackles. You know, if you look back on it, I mean, a lot of the tackles, if we would have made them, it would have, they probably would end up punting the ball or would end up stopping us to drive, and you know, helping us get off the field. But you know, when you miss tackles, you, you're letting them create more plays. You stand on the field for a longer time. You know, like it just lasts a lot longer. But like I said, if, if we focus on making tackles and not missing as many as we did, I mean, we'll get off the field. I mean, we'll be better as a defense. All right, thank you, Christian. You guys can hang tight while we bring up the next player.